Welcome to How to Talk Yankee, a foreign language record specifically designed to acquaint the listener with the various peculiarities and colloquial terms commonly used in authentic Down East Yankee speech. The dialogue following each definition has been provided to indicate its proper conversational usage. For best results, please listen carefully. After, verb, to nag or urge. A lot of summer folks around town, ain't they? Yep, uh, seems like a pretty nice bunch this year, too, but as usual, they're always after you about something. Does kind of drive you, don't it? Well, I guess you can't blame them. Yesterday, this family pulled up one of them big campers, you know, loaded right down with souvenirs and driftwood and lobster traps tied on the roof and all that sort of thing, you know. A fella leans out the window and says, Can I take this road all the way back to New York? You might just as well, I said. Looks like you've got about everything else. Edge on. Noun. Meaning intoxication. Uh, now, would you say Charlie had an edge on last evening? He didn't look too bad, not staggering or nothing, but I'll tell you, his breath would peel a vanish right off canoe paddle. Aya, adverb, a general purpose term which is considered the truest touchstone of genuine Yankee speech. Approach this word with extreme caution. Its proper use depends almost entirely upon inflection and context. Aya. Aya. Now this one's a little bit different because you've got to uh, kind of uh, uh, take a breath and kind of relax and kind of inhale. And while you inhale, you kind of throw your head back just a little bit. You'll get the hang of it. Goes like this. <gasps> well, you sounded a little bit desperate. Let's try it again. Goes just like this. <gasps> well, that's not too bad. Now, there's another kind of uh, air, which you kind of ask a little bit of a question. Kind of goes like this. Air? Air? Not too bad, Cappy. Not too bad. Now, the last one, kind of difficult, because in this version of air, you kind of got to act resigned to the fact that something uh, kind of uh, bothersome is going on. And it goes like this. Air. Air. You're doing all right. I believe with a little bit of work we can get you uh, kind of acclimated to this word. Now, now just repeat after me. Aya, I believe I'm going home. Aya, I believe I'm going home. Well, you're kind of tense on that, and you've got too much of an ah on the end there. Uh, just say this. Uh, say, Aya, I believe I'm going home. Aya, I believe I'm a going home. Well, now, see, now you've got kind of, you, you've got that ah, that's a little too much ah there, you can't throw in, uh, say, uh, just kind of relax, and uh, kind of take a deep breath, and, uh. and, and, well, we're going to say this, a yeah, I believe I'm going home. a yeah. It is I best to listen often to this word in its sundry applications before you attempt to use it. Bail, verb. To consume, often to excess. Did you go to the bean hole supper down the Episcopal Church last Saturday? Oh, I wouldn't miss one. Sat next to Doc Perkins, and I never seen a man eat beans like he can. He bailed them right to him for the better part of an hour. Well, he's a pretty hefty fellow. Hey, I'll bet he'd dress out pretty close to 250 pounds. B. Verb. The archaic form of is. I hear the state police stopped Walter Pinkham up to the center last night. Was he speeding? No, I, I believe uh, they was just checking like they do, you know, but I hear he almost got a ticket anyway. Well, how's that? Well, I guess the cop thought he was kind of sassy. When he asked him where he was headed, Walter says, I'm going to the island. Well, the cop says, which island might that be? Well, says Walter... Batters Island, you damn fool. What other island be they? 
Bring up. Noun. Sudden impact. I heard he was a little bit tipsy when he smashed that car into the stone wall. Not much left of her. No, but that must have been some bring up. Cap or cappy. Noun. Captain. A form of address which is the Yankee equivalent of the Kentucky Colonel. How's your summer going, Cappy? Oh, seems pretty good, but I can't say for sure till after Labor Day. Charge. Noun. A large quantity. I hear the smelts are running heavy over to Demerscotta this year. I guess. I had a wicked charge of them for breakfast. Boy, there's nothing like a good big charge of smelts to snatch a day off right. Chummy. Greeting. Although it may be used as a greeting among friends, this form of address is more commonly reserved for use as a warning to outsiders. Well, I heard him say he don't care much for the locals. So I says, well, Chummy, why don't you and I just step outside and we can have a little talk about that? Cunning. Adverb. Meaning extremely cute. I see you got them ceramic cats climbing up the outside of your trailer. Yes, I do. Uh, I don't particularly care for them myself, but Mother thinks they're some cunning. Dow. Adverb. Meaning negative. Downeasters frequently use this expression instead of no. You get your deer yet? Down. Mother got hers the first day. I ain't even seen one. Deer. Noun. Spelled D-E-A-R. Often used as a greeting among adult males. You suppose we can finish hauling all those traps before lunch? Well, I'm afraid we'll have to, dear. I got work to do this afternoon. Desperate. Adjective. Meaning hopeless. What you think of Virgie after they put him in that wash tub down to the clinic? Why, I tell you, he was some desperate. To my mind, he looks better covered with mud. Elegant. Adjective. Extremely good. You seen that new girl they got cooking down at Edna's diner? Yes, I have. And she's homely as a stump fence. But gory, don't she make an elegant clam chowder. Exhilarator. Noun. Meaning accelerator. I heard them Whipple boys outrun the game warden again. So I hear. I guess they had a load of the governor's meat in the trunk when uh, he tried to pull them over. They stamped on the old exhilarator, and that's the last he's seen of them. From away. Prepositional phrase, meaning transplanted residents. Did you read in the paper where old man Titcomb passed away? Yeah, I did then. Ninety-four years old he was, and it kind of surprised me to find out he was from away. The paper said he was originally from New Hampshire. And he was as much as six months old before he ever set foot in the state of Maine. Gamey. Adjective. Strong smelling. Generally as a result of spending extended periods away from civilization. I heard Harriet walk two days and a night all the way up from Millinocket to Augusta protesting that new spruce budworm spray they're using. She must have been some old tired by the time she finally got in. Well, I'll tell you one thing. She was so gamey when she come into the diner, she set off the smoke detector. Gummy. Adjective. Meaning clumsy or awkward. Kind of a shame about that Perkins fella from New York, ain't it? Yeah. I heard he drowned it down the boatyard. What happened? 
Well, when I hear, Asa Tupper was rowing him in from the mooring to the dock, and he wasn't paying attention, so he run that skiff right smack into a piling. When he did, I guess the old man went right backwards over the stern and drowned right then and there. That Asa always was some gummy in a skiff. Give for. Verb. To pay. What'd you give for that new car? Well, I can tell you, it's more than I should have. Half the damn thing's plastic, and what metal there is, you could shoot a BB gun through. Boy, I wish they'd put out the Model A again. Well, who don't? Do ud. Adjective. Spelled G O O D. Often prefaced with some or some old. Godfrey, but this apple pie is some good. Yeah. Myrtle made with Macintosh, too. They ain't supposed to be that good of a pie apple. Well, it's some old good, anyway. Gory. Interjection. All true Yankees use this expression. Gory, ain't it been some hot? Yeah, and dry as a temperance meeting, too. I guess. I got trout in my trout pond that's three months old and ain't even learned to swim yet. Junk. Noun. A piece of something. That weather fellow over to the airport says we're in for a rafter snapper tonight. Might go down to 40 below. Won't bother me none if it does. I'll just have Mother get up around midnight and throw another junk of wood in the stove. Mr. Man. Noun. A form of address. Them strangers been over to your place selling flowers? No, sir, Mr. Man, and I can tell you they had not to either. Mud season. Noun. The fifth season. Between winter and spring. And if this ain't the worst mud season I've seen in years. There, I can't remember one so bad as this. Gets any worse, we'll need a canoe just to get out the highway. Side one. How to talk Yankee, side two. Nothing. Noun. Correct pronunciation of the word nothing. How'd you like your trip out to California? Oh, the trip was all right, but I'll tell you, I wouldn't give you nothing for the place itself. Is that so? Well, yeah. The way I see it, a fellow could get born, grow up, die, and get buried in California without ever leaving his car. Not likely. Adverb phrase. Meaning totally impossible. Did that cow survive the fall off of Thompson's bluff? Not likely. Numb. Verb, to kill. You believe it, Horace? I have missed the last six rats I fired at in this dump. Well, try my gun, Charlie. You'll likely numb one of them critters every time you pull the trigger. Numb as a hake. Adjective phrase, meaning stupid. I hear your oldest boy, Hubert, got a job. Hey, yeah, Brad Pierce give him a job down to the mill. How's he making it? Well, not too bad. Brad says the boy is good with his hands. He's numb as a hake, but he is good with his hands. Prize. Verb. Meaning leverage. When that half-ton cow down to Charlie's place slipped on the ice in the dooryard... How'd you get her up, anyway? Well, we went and cut us a 30-foot spruce pole. We jammed it under the cow, and we prized her right back up on her feet. Ramming. To ram. Verb. Out on the town. 
The boys down to the post office said your wife's gone into the business selling them cosmetics, dog to dog. Is that so? Well, yeah. First off, I didn't care much for the idea of her out ramming around till late thirty and nine at night, you know, but she told me once you sell a certain number of tons of that stuff, they give you a free car. Well, that old shibby of mine's about had it, so I figured she ought to at least give it a try. Reef. Noun. Meaning strong tug. Now what's the matter, Harry? Well, I got kind of cross-threaded in the ruts on this rod, and my hind wheels are down in the ditch. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to take a turn around your rear bumper with this length of chain and reef her right out of there. Rehearsing. Verb. To drill or exercise. Now, why is that half ton going so fast down by here? Don't you know, Timmy? That's the new Hebron fire truck out rehearsing. Rookery. Noun. Extremely cluttered area. Timmy, you should have seen the results of that explosion down to the mattress factory last Friday. Well, I can tell you, it couldn't have been no worse than the rookery my nephew lives in over at that fraternity house. Squid. Noun. A tiny portion. How about another plate load of beans? Thanks just the same, but I've got to save room for just a little squid of Mother's rhubarb pie. Slick as a smelt. Adverb. Meaning easily. I was kind of surprised how good that girl Marlene was with a canoe. She kept to the right-hand side in the ribs below Russell's Point, found the heavy water, and put that 20-foot guides model through there, slick as a smelt. Some. Adverb or adjective meaning very. I hear you folks went on quite an excursion last weekend. Well, you could say that, yes. Uh, Mother won the door prize at the uh, church supper, and it turned out to be a $50 gift certificate to L.L. Beans over to Freeport. We even invited Harry Whitfield along. You know, he don't get out that much uh, nowadays. Godfrey must have enjoyed himself. Well, I guess. Uh, he was ramming around all over that store for the better part of two hours. Must have been quite something for an old sport like Harry. I tell you, chummy, he was some impressed. He told me later if they'd have took food stamps, he'd have cleaned out half the store. Stave. Verb. To break. How come you staved in the side of your hen house that way, Henry? Well, you'd have done the same thing. If you'd been trying to whale the rooster with the length of galvanized pipe. Strike. Verb. To find. Do you think uh, I could come over to your house next week and, and we could talk about setting a price on them hogs? Well, you can come all right, but you might not strike me home. Supper. Noun. A true Yankee eats breakfast in the morning, dinner at noon, supper in the evening. Lunch is something you carry along with you in your dinner bucket. I hear Tut Tuttle is running for the legislature. They, uh, they had a supper last night to raise money for the election and he gave quite a speech about the effect of the recession on the working man. Well, what did he have to say? Well, according to Tut, this recession we're having wouldn't have been so bad if it weren't coming right on the heels of such hard times. Tunk. Noun or verb. A light blow. Well, I forgot to tell you, you got to tunk the choke on that chainsaw before it'll run right. Tunk it. What I'd like to do is wail it with the top maul. If I'd used a handsaw like I'd wanted to, I'd been done an hour ago. 
Ugly. Adjective. Ill-tempered. Yeah, that Irish settler of mine is one of the most beautiful bird dogs in this county. Yes, but don't forget, if you miss a bird she's pointed, she'll turn ugly on you. Want. W-A-N-T. Meaning wasn't. Want that a lovely program down to the Skowhegan Fair last evening. Gorgeous. I like the part where they worked out the hen laying an egg all in fireworks. Whale. Verb. To strike vigorously. I hear Hubert hurt his hands on bad. Yes, and ain't that just like him too. He was fixing the porch and he whaled his thumb with a hammer. Now I suppose I'm going to have to pay to get the job finished. What is a curious circumlocution indicating that the questioner wants to pursue a subject? What is? Evan going to buy a new manure spreader? Yeah, he won't buy it. He says he just wants to try her out. And he will, too, till he cleans out his barn. Also, what are? What are they? Going to plow the Raymond Rod now them hippies moved in there? Wicked. Adverb. Meaning very. Found ice in my hot water tap this morning, Archie. Well, I just don't know when it's been so wicked cold. Whine. Verb. Spelled W-H-I-N-E. To spit. What's old Tom doing now? Oh, he does nothing much. Just... That's on the porch of that store of his with one arm as long as the other chewing a plug and whines into an empty nail keg. This concludes your introductory course in Down East Yankee speech. Retention and proper application of this material should enable the listener to master the basic language of this region. For a refresher course, please turn the record over and begin side one. Well, Timmy, you think they'll learn anything off this record? Hard to say, Bobby. Uh, I'd say they probably won't fool any of the locals. Uh, on the other hand, they might fool each other, and that's almost as good. <laughs>